What up? And welcome back to another episode of Gritty Knows Best, baby. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's your boy, 8 Slim, Gurfy, Gwiffy, whatever you want to call me. And joining me tonight, we got this guy. He is a YouTube legend, a current YouTube superstar, the greatest pop collector of all time, the winner of the Gritty Impression Contest in uh, for 2022. He is the artist formerly known as Simfuckus, the big pro G, Justin. <laughs> The winner. No, it is. It's officially summer short season, tank top season. It's not summer yet. Summer starts like it's not even June. We have like another. What the hell are you? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. But let me tell you, that has nothing to do with what's happening right now. But let me tell you this: we just had, we just put on our second annual six-hour spectacular, baby. That's right. If you didn't catch it last week, it went up. The second annual six hour spectacular, six whole hours of me, Justin, Crow, Dre. We even had Eddie. We had Clay. We had some of Pasty. We had some Cemetery Girl. We had a lot going on. We're going to be talking about that tonight, as well as me and Justin got some special packages in the mail so stay tuned for that because we're going to be talking about that at the end of the show mm -hmm. but justin how did you feel about this six hour spectacular take me through all of your thoughts i thought it got pretty good it is way better than last year so much better right and i, I, I loved it i think i listened to it twice already wow 12 hours I listen to uh, the audio version and the YouTube version. That's right. It's on clips. YouTube right now. So I thought it got pretty good. And I like the, the whole pre-taped thing that he did. I think it was better. It was easier. So much easier. Much faster, much stronger. If, if you didn't know last year's debacle, we actually stayed up for six hours straight. Well, and we recorded it. Yeah. This time... We did like three hours live and everything else. I was think we clean. actually did about four and a half because we didn't uh, record four. that much. We recorded some, yeah, but <clears throat> it was yeah. planned better. Yeah, it was planned better and it, it did pretty good. I loved it. I loved how the superhero hour came out. Of course, I listened did. to that. I think I did a pretty good job. Of course, you did. Stroking your and ears. uh, if you want to hear what happened, then they can mull. Go check that out. We had a whole a lot debacle. going on with Mo. We had the like guy. three arguments with Mo on the whole show. Yeah, the superhero hour is great. Chopping it up there, Roddy is pretty good. Fantastic. Yep. He's a really a good fun. fan, a friend. So I got to talk to him for the first time. Really? You know, that was your first time face, talking to Roddy? Face, face to face, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I texted him. We did IG him, Live but... once, once or tw we did it twice with him. Oh, this is the first sit down. Yeah, remember on Halloween? Oh, yeah, around yeah, Halloween. yeah, yeah. But it was pretty good shopping up at him, and it was just great. You told a good, scary story. Oh, did you like that? I like Thank the you. story. Thank you. I yeah. still got to go back and listen to the, uh, some of the songs. The yeah. Tapes. I talked about the Memphis but, murder tapes. Yeah, the Memphis murder tapes. Right. And, you know, we tried soda, a lot of taste testing. We love doing um, that. The Coke surprised me. If you want to check that out, go check that out. That's right. Um, and it was just really good. I had a good time doing it, and it was really fun. Any favorite moments besides the Roddy thing? Anything that you but enjoyed the most? Or was I it all... loved the impersonation contest. Oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I love Pastor's uh, submission. Um... Yeah, let's get to that right now because we're talking about it. Let's just talk about it right now. So Justin is the winner of the Gritty Impersonation Contest. First year in a row. I mean, well, I don't know if we're going to do it next year, but it was the, the first year we did it. And yeah. it was a lot of fun. Now, this is the problem, though, is that um, a lot of people think, well, almost everybody thinks that Justin should not have won that contest. Yeah. It is unanimous. 
that he pastor, was at it. yeah, that pastor won. Everybody was saying it on the air right there that they mm-hmm. thought pastor should have won, but I was the only judge. So in case you didn't hear it, we're gonna play Justin's entry and we're gonna play Passy's entry so you can see what you think. This was Justin's. All right, everybody ready? <laughs> All right, dang, dang, that's a noise. I hear that noise. Ma, is that you? Put you stop on me, Ma. All right. Let's try. All right, let's try. Everybody, calm down. Let's start. Ready? The video giggling act. What? Come in and meet. Come in and meet everybody. Everybody's muted. All right? Ready. Let up. And welcome back to another episode of Gritty Miller's Best Baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Now, I thought this was great because this was very accurate as to how I sound before the show. Yelling at people, doing this, screaming at people, muting everybody. I thought he captured it very, very well. Hey, I don't know if you heard it when we were talking. I was nervous doing this. You were. I, I thought about, I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't expect it to, to come out as good as it did. Right. No, I hit it out of the park, I think. I think you hit it out of the park as well, but a lot of people thought Pastor hit it out of the park a little bit harder, a little bit farther. Yep. Here is Pasty's entry. What's up? And welcome to another episode of Gritty Knows Best. Yay! And on the show tonight is the artist formerly known as Semfuckus, Justin. Yay! So you're telling me, Justin, if you were on a desert island and in a genie bottle and you had to decide between your powers and giving a man you know what, that you would give, you would go down on a man. Yes, yes you would, because I'm preoccupied with your sexuality. Every minute of every day, I am preoccupied by Justin Simbitis' sexuality and accuse him of being gay over and over and over and over again. You know, he started off <clears throat> a little rough. Yeah. I was like, where is this going, blah, blah, blah. But then he totally knocked it out the park at the end there with the genie thing. I mean, we've t- I've had that discussion on the show with Justin about the yeah. blowing the about if you were a genie to, if you would blow a guy to keep your powers. Yeah. And it still astounds me that you would blow a guy to keep your powers as a genie <laughs> because quote you want to be powerful. <laughs> so you know the callback was incredible, mm. and <clears throat> you know listening to it, I was like, damn, maybe Pastor did win. I don't know, but I thought my thinking was Justin beat him by half a point. That's how my sheet was. It was because I think Justin had a longer, like, I think he knocked it out of the park for longer. I think he had a more consistent entry. I think it was funny from the beginning straight to the end. So I still stand by it, Justin. Half a point. You win. I don't care what anybody says. You're the winner. What disappointed me was Stephanie didn't get her entry in because she was mm-hmm. dying of, of some kind of flu she yeah. had she was coughing and hacking all over the place, and I just thought about it right now. Uh, she was supposed to send me just an entry just for fun, uh, but I totally forgot. That? I told I, I didn't remind her. I totally forgot. Uh, she would have done it. She would have done it. So I totally but you forgot. Know, like, you're the host, so your opinion is really all that matters. Gritty knows best. Uh, if I if you say I've won, I've won. You did win, I'll and a- Pasty was oh. a little salty. He got screwed though. You know what? I don't give a fick. You don't give a fick. Well, you let us know what you think in the comment section. If you're watching on YouTube, what you thought about this debacle. It's, uh, yeah. Pasty might have got screwed. I don't know. You I let know. us know. Justin won, though, a I nice did. $25 gift card to Amazon. That was yep. on the line, and have you spent it? I spent it. It's gone. Wow. What did you What did you purchase? So... I had twenty five dollars, so I figured I'll get two pops. You know, two Amazon exclusives. The mm. cure about eleven twelve bucks a pop. Right, right. So I put two in my cart. I had a Rey Mysterio go in the dark and a fiend. Okay. Now um both of them adding up, it came out to like 
twenty four something. All right, right in the nose. Sh- um, I didn't get, you know, the free shipping. It said I had oh, to spend really? a dollar for free shipping. You should have told me to buy them. But, so you know fun, what? Baby. I took I took the fiend out. I left the uh the Rey Mysterio thing. Oh, you should have um, told me or any. A lot of us have Prime. No, it's, it's, it's fine. Oh. But um, I took the fiend out, and I was looking like, what can I spend this on? Mm-hmm. So I was looking at candy, of course. Right. I was looking at Reese's, Kit Kats, and everything was either below 25 or really over mm-hmm. 25. Of course. So I said, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the Rey Mysterio pop. And I'm going to buy the soup that I like. Ah, the Yoshiba, right? What is yeah, it? Yoshiba? The, um, Yoshiba. Right the Yakisoba. Yakisoba. Soup. Yeah. That's spicy, so, yeah. right? Yeah. Spicy, spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. Spicy for so, I ended up buying the Mysterio Pop and uh, Yakisoba, and that came out to like 28 something. Wow. So I spent $3 over. But I didn't mind. Here's the uh, the Rey Mysterio. Oh, came already. Wow, very nice. Move it a little. Yeah, there you go. You had the glare. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. What color is that? I'm colorblind. Uh, blue. Okay. Ah, how many Rey Mysterios uh, do you have by now? Um, I have this one. I have the regular version of this one, and I have the first one that came out. So three. Okay. Now to deviate from the six-hour special a little bit because we're talking about pops, but. What is it called? Halfway to Halloween? What is it called? Uh, Funko Ween. Funko Ween. Basically, halfway to Halloween. Funko Ween just dropped. Yeah, they say that on the on the poster. Yeah, you gotta pre-order it six months ahead because right. it takes forever to make. Right. Right. So it's uh, Funko's Halloween drops. You know, we love Halloween here. Justin loves pops, and you made some purchases about on that, huh? I made some big. Oh wow! Big purchases. Let's hear what you got. All right. I don't know if anyone sees this on Twitter. You know Homer Simpson when he goes back into the bush? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a meme. It's a very popular meme. Yeah. So they made a Funko Pop of that, and I pre-ordered that. For Funko Ween. Yeah. Nice. So I got the Homer. I got, there was a Chucky 2-pack. Oh, yeah, Chucky and Tiffany from the bride of Chucky. The glow in the dark? It's black away, so I had to pick that up. Yeah, you were talking about that. I got the New York Chucky Licky Axe. I got that. Okay. Scars or no? Yeah, it's from the Bride of Chucky. Okay, okay. I got the you Tiffany newer, so. from the Bride of Chucky Licky Axe okay. in your hand. I got the black light Elvira. Oh, with the purple yeah. dress. The purple dress. Beautiful. The love Elvira. Purple heart. It's the same mold as the regular thing the one you in have. the diamond, okay. but it's black light. Love it. So it, it looks pretty cool. Beautiful. And I got Carrie. Yeah, with the handout, like she's doing the spells or whatever. They, doing made, the... they, made, a, they made a new Carrie that got the hand pose. But it's pretty she's much like, doing... the, like the one they just came out but with the handout. More, a little more right. blood, I think. Okay. And she's doing the pose Love like that. she's doing the psychic powers Love at that. the end. Yeah. So that's a pretty dope pop. That's a great I'm excited pop. for that. That's a great pop. And they dropped a new line of E.T. pops. You did show me that. They got E.T. the phone. They got E.T. pointing at the, the heart. E.T. the leg. Um, they have a nice one that E.T. on the bike. And it's like over the moon, and the moon glows in the dark. Right. I didn't pre-order that. Okay. But I did get the the the, the phone. The oh, phone home. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you were such an ET fan. I love ET. I didn't even know you've seen kid. the movie. I've seen it a bunch of times. Wow. Me and my grandpa. It was re- it's a really cool movie. We've never talked about that probably because I've never seen it. So if I didn't see it, we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about it. You obviously. should watch it. Eh, probably not. It's a classic. But that's beautiful. You got a yep. bunch of Funko Wayne, and that should be coming to various months up till like December, right? I think the first couple come out in September, <laughs> and next batch comes out around October. Oh, okay. B 
Beautiful. Yeah. Now back to the six hour special because it wouldn't be the six it wouldn't be Gritty Knows Best without drama on air and off air as well. Oh yeah. So you had the task of controlling the superhero hour. You were the head of that show. I Good. had almost nothing to do with it. All I did was show up for five seconds to make sure that everybody was there, everybody looked good, and sounded good. Now, we yep. already had kind of a whole situation there because I'm the one that has the uh, membership for multiple people on a over 45-minute Zoom. So that yep. I had to... I came in and I wanted to see if I could basically just transfer my membership over to Justin by making him the leader of the group. So I go yep. in. That actually worked. I was surprised. And I go play Left 4 Dead for about two hours. As you know, if you've listened to the show, it uh, Justin went over by a whole freaking hour. It was supposed to be I one did. hour. And I went over by a half hour. You gave me like 15. That's not a half hour. I mean, that's like 40, 40, that's like 40 minutes. 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Mm. So I get a call from Justin, and why don't you take over the story? So I call him, and... I'm like, listen, I got some good news, and I got some bad news. <laughs> good news is, the show, they're really good, and they're really well. Bad right. news is, it was two fucking hours. I was like this, I can't believe, I told you so many times, just give me 115, 115, 115. If you guys it goes over by like 40 minutes on purpose. Hey, you just... that's, that, that's not even a little bit. So, the other on FaceTime, they're talking, and I'm looking at my computer. I can't find this fucking file. Mm -mm. The I file. know because I previously did stuff on Zoom with Dre and Mo. So I, I saved it how I normally would. Right. So I knew this thing went somewhere. It had to have gone somewhere. I just couldn't find it. And they're, they're making fun of me. I was I, laughing so hard because I'm like, you see what happens when you disobey me? You go over time. Now you can't find it. So now I'm like, all right, J Justin's all depressed. I'm like, well, then, you know, you're going to have to do X, Y, and Z, and you got to do it again tomorrow. We're making plans. So yeah. you go ahead. Yeah, I'm depressed. Dre's over there preparing for a second uh, superhero second, hour. Yeah, for the next day. And, it was ridiculous. So I wake up the next morning and I'm like, you know what? I know this fucking thing saved. So I get on my computer, I get on Zoom, I make a meeting with my computer and my iPad. So I make a meeting, I let it go for a couple of seconds, I end it, and I'm like, let me see if this fucker is saved. So I save, I have what they saved. It saved on my computer in some random ass in documents. Yeah. It didn't save in my downloads. It didn't save on my desktop. It saved in a Zoom folder mm -hmm. in another folder. And you know, if we were to call a pastor and just told him that, he would have you would have spent you would have saved a whole night of anxiety because he told me that as soon as I I told him he was like, Oh yeah, it was probably just like in a folder in your computer and like a documents yeah. folder. So he already knew we should have called him. Yeah. He's Mr. So, Zoom. I'm lucky I, uh, I'm like, you know what, let me, let lucky me see you what did, you did an experiment. I didn't give up. Yeah, you didn't give up, never give up like John Cena. Right. And I was absolutely rolling all night laughing at this man. I'm like, you see what happened? <laughs> me and Dre, me and Mo, J Mo just hung up the phone. Yeah. He's like, I can't believe this. It was they a kept, whole what night. What song are you singing? I was tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. I was singing it all night long at this guy. I was so pissed. Oh yeah, it was hilarious. I get to be depressed. And then he calls me in the morning. I found it. I was like, I was actually kind of disappointed because I'm like, damn, that would have been that was so funny. Like, but it's good because you didn't want to have to do the whole thing over again. No. No. Well, maybe it would have gave Mo like another half a day to watch anything. Yeah. Because if you if for, for those of you that didn't listen, why don't you explain a little bit of that? So I I, I give Mo and Dre a list of shows to watch for three like, months. A month, two months in advance. Yeah, two months. Okay, Doctor Strange came out a week prior, but we had Loki, we had uh, Morbius, we had. Oh, Another kind of shows. So, Mo lets me know on the show 
that eating rocks Loki, he rocks half of Doctor Strange and half of fucking Moon Knight. And he lets you know this by doing what? What did he do? Oh, because they're talking about the show, and he's just like, oh, that sounds interesting. I gotta see that. Well, like, I gotta finish that. Didn't you? You, you make me want to finish it. Like, what the hell? Like, I could, I was dying at that because they would, then Justin brought that up while they were looking for the footage. And yeah. we had a whole argument about that on the show, on the yeah. six hour, the second half. So make sure you go check that out if you haven't heard that. But that was one of my favorite moments right there was Mo not watching anything he, after a month. He tried to clap back at me like, oh, you didn't watch this. Yeah, but I you didn't, didn't want, want to. I didn't want to. You just. You used every excuse under the sun. Oh, I could, and I got to do this. I got to do that. I don't know what the yeah. hell you're talking about. You, you can listen to it. Drama. Listen to it for yourself. Mm -hmm. But that was my, that was one of my favorite moments right there. Do you have anything else you'd like to share about the Big Six? Nah, it was really good. What did you think of it? I had an absolutely amazing time. I thought it was great. Definitely better than last year, for oh, sure. Yeah. I enjoyed, mm -hmm. as you said, the tape segments. The Pepper segment was great. I yep. like that we didn't have to do the six. Uh, we didn't have to do the superhero hour right there. We had that. That was pre-taped, so we had that. We could take a break. We got to take three breaks during yeah. the show, which we mm -hmm. didn't take long breaks, but it was just nice for us to take a break to re, yeah. you know, to recalibrate to get our stuff together. I was very proud of everybody. I thought I was glad everybody was there. Dre was there. Yep. You know, we were like, hey, I don't know if Dre's gonna be able to make it. You know, Dre. Yeah. <coughs> so he was there. Um, I like that I did my, my little spooky segment there because last year we kind of went to an impromptu one and yeah, then this year, yeah, yep. but this year I was like, you know what? I actually found that urban legend like a month, not even a month, like maybe, yeah, maybe like three weeks before the special and I was going to save it for Halloween. And I was like, nah, we gotta, we gotta put that on the six hour baby. So that was a lot of fun getting that together, doing the <laughs> research for that. Yeah. And my favorite moment of the show was having Eddie and Clay on. I thought that oh, was yeah. the most fun I had because we, you know, we all grew, well, you didn't grow up with them, but me, Dre, um, Mo, we grew up with them. So, and you, you hung out with them before. I knew them for a while. Yeah. Since the programs. So all I of knew. us hanging out was just such a fun vibe. Yeah. Everybody getting together, busting each other's balls. And let me tell you, when Eddie started talking shit about Dre, yeah. I yeah. was like, this man got balls. When he called him out. He was doing that for like two weeks before the show on the phone. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, tell him. Yeah, tell him. Tell him what you feel. Tell him who you Yo, I don't, because he got all hot, you know, after when when he knew he was going to do the pepper. He's like, I don't know what Dre's doing. That that dude don't be doing nothing. I don't be seeing him. Hey, nah. hey, this is the first thing Eddie's done. <laughs> I commend him for what he did. He did two peppers. You know, that was amazing. Yeah. But B, the guy don't even listen to the show, so how does they he know what like the hell? The how the hell does he know yeah. what Dre does? Yeah. So. Dre does a lot. Like we said, me and him do hypothetical hell. He goes fucking, he downloads shit for us. All the time. He does a lot. He's always up listening to our madness, whatever. Yeah. He's always there. He's always supporting us. Yeah. Dre's always there. So you don't have to be here every week. No, that's just fine. So that was one of my favorite ones was him trying to trying to clap at Dre. And yep. everybody just dogpiled on to him. Eddie told some. We told some stories about Eddie personally with the sauce. That was uh, definitely the highlight for me. Roddy uh, was another highlight. Mm -hmm. It was just an awesome show, and I was very proud. I was, I was very proud, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was awesome. Now, here was the problem. There was only one problem with this special for me. And that yeah. was that I got sick two hours. Like, not even... I got sick... Like 10 hours before the show or something like that. I couldn't okay. even believe it. I could not yeah. believe it. I was sick during the six hour special. Um, nobody probably knew that. Well, I did say that like halfway through when I was talking about when I was talking about how I had to run in Mo's house when he had freaking COVID because he didn't put the damn cans out like he was supposed to. My man didn't do anything he was supposed to do the whole special. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. He couldn't even leave the fucking cans out. That's all I asked. He didn't have his computer charged either. No, the computer bailed out. Halfway through, I mean, this guy's a mess. He is. This guy's a mess. So it's like 
2 a.m. before the night before the special, and I'm getting ready. I'm drinking, chugging iced teas, listening to music, getting the segments ready. You know, moving stuff here, putting the loading them. Something told me load the machine right now. Something in my mind said, Are "You flexing?" <laughs> guy just, guy just hit a flex. What the hell? This guy's getting, guy's talking, looking like Hulk Hogan. So uh, in my head, I'm like, all right. Something in me is like, in my spirit is like, yo, load the machine right now. Load the machine right now. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to just load the machine right now. So I load it. I jump off. And I'm like, all right, I'm about to go to sleep in probably like an hour. I'm about to wind down. I was so much more prepared than last year. Way more prepared. So I was happy about that. And then I notice as I'm doing something, I feel a little tickle in my throat. Yep, that's like, how it happens. I said, ooh. And then I notice I have a little bit of a headache coming on. And I said, there's no way that either Mo or Pastor, because those are the only two people that could have gave me it, gave me yeah. fucking COVID for the show or got me sick. Hey, it's funny, too, because the whole week leading up to it, he was like, all right, you got sick. You yeah, got yeah, I'm sick. like, yeah. Have everybody get it out of the way. Everybody get it out now. I'm like, I'm glad Mo got sick like two weeks before. Yeah, I and got then, sick boom. earlier. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, this is going to be the test for me. If I wake up with the headache and the painkiller doesn't work, that's a sign that I'm sick because usually I get headaches from whatever, but there was no reason I should have that headache. I was taking care of myself. So mm -hmm. I knew something was wrong already. And I said, if I wake up and it's still there and I take a painkiller and it don't work, then I'm in trouble. That's exactly what happened. And let me tell you, I was dying, dying, dying before the show. My head was pounding with no relief. I took like five hot showers. I was just like laying under the hot water, just praying that I would be fine before the show. Luckily, I think it was my fourth painkiller and my 20th shower. I got out and I was like, I don't know like how this is going to, I knew we were going to do it. I'm like, I know I'm going to yeah. do the show, but it's going to really suck if I feel like this. So I lay in my game chair all the way back. I fall asleep for like three hours Feels like two seconds, and miraculously the headache's going away. So I'm like, all right, bet. So we get to do the show, and it's actually fine the whole time. Like I guess adrenaline kicked in, whatever. Yeah, yeah, just adrenaline. like everything kicked in. I was fine. I was like, all right. I was I was like, I'll take a pill at nine. Didn't need it. I'll take a pill at eleven. Didn't need it. We got off about one. I took the pill, and I have been sick till about today. Okay. Yep. Like, I'm just getting over it now. My stomach's still a little messed up. Um, as you can hear, I'm coughing. I got a little bit of a runny nose. So all week, I have been dead. I've just Jeez. been sleeping, sleeping, and sleeping. And I was just absolutely... This was like one of the worst weeks ever. I was so miserable. And then it was, was like... Unlike last time... Where I slept, I think I had like, yeah, like two days where it was like hell. A lot of these days were like horrible. And I really didn't have anything cool to watch the whole time, which sucked. Because last time I watched like two or three shows and it kind of got me through. I just started like watching stuff that uh, that made me just like kind of forget about everything and just made me chill. I just started watching some shoot interviews, you know, wrestling shoot interviews. I was watching some Kevin Nash interviews. His are probably my favorite and I started watching some other wrestling interviews, and that kind of got me through the, the tail end of the week. But man, did this week suck. I'm just so glad we got through the special. So glad. Started cutting clips at the end. If you want to see some of the clips, we have the, the, spot, we have the, uh, the Ghost Pepper and the Carolina Reaper Pepper clips up on the uh, GKB Clips channel right now. So we, we just started cutting clips. Yep, the, the, the Coca-Cola, um, the pixel, bite. the Coca-Cola bite that yeah. I was surprised you guys like. But yeah. other than me getting sick, great time. I had a great time during the show. Didn't mm -hmm. really feel it. And we just got to give ourselves an applause. Yeah. Got to give ourselves a big applause. Yeah, one, really thing, uh, one thing we didn't get to do, there was a few things we didn't get to talk about, which yeah. was actually a testament to how much we prepared this year because, mm -hmm. you know, we had a lot left over that we didn't say. Yeah, so, last year we had to pull it out of our ass. Yeah, we just started talking crap, you know. We yeah. started talking about whatever, which was fine. It's cool. It's it's a it was a different vibe. You know, people yeah. still enjoyed it. But this mm -hmm. year 
we had some uh, some other things we wanted to talk about. Yeah. And I had another segment of what pisses me off that we didn't get to do that I'm going to talk about right now. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about how it. Many, how many things piss you off? Because we have quite a few of these. Uh, yeah, this is about the third one, but we have. But yeah. what I was gonna say is we haven't done this in a long time. That is true. We haven't done what's pissed me off in a while. Six to last six hour special. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think I just uh, yeah. I did one then, so I got about eight on this one. Uh-huh. Now this is this this one has been grinding my gears for a little while because I've been seeing it on mostly on YouTube actually. This is this is a YouTube thing, a YouTube shorts thing, but it would be either a YouTube short or a TikTok. With the music does not match the freaking TikTok at all, and it makes no sense. So I, I have examples, and there's one song that they always play. I'm gonna get into it, but it pisses me off every time I hear it. Every because it's always makes it, it has nothing to do with anything. Like it, you, you, we'll get to it, but this one is more of a sad song, okay? And yeah. listen, but listen to what they're talking about in the freaking video. How much did you say you spent on women? Probably like, um, let's see, around two, three. Two, three thousand? It's not so bad. No, uh, three million. Million? Yeah. Every time I see a beautiful woman, I have to splurge, I have to spoil them. I'm realizing that I have this problem right now. I need help. I need help. Is he talking about how he just blows all his hard earned money? Oh, yeah. his mu- this is Future, by the way, the rapper. Talking about how he just blows. I'm talking about to anybody that doesn't know, you know, about how he just blown his money on women. And I'm like, what's with this epic sadness? What's with this epic sad music? It's like if if, like like you're interviewing a child talking about like I I can't, you you know, haven't been able to eat in in like six weeks. This guy's talking about just blowing money on Birkin bags. Right. So this is totally outrageous. Shout out to KS by the way. You know, Kevin Samuels. We talked about him on the show. He mm-hmm. was doing the interview. I mean, I, I would have just been baffled if Kevin was like, I mean, it, it was an outrageous number, two to three million on, on anybody, just on some random chick. But is it, do, do we need like the like the St. Jude's commercial vibe yeah. with this? So then you got that. That's like sometimes I see the sad one. And a lot of times they'll do it with movies. They'll like play a sad part in the movie. And I'm like, what is the purpose of this? Like, why am I fucking watching this? Like, who, ma- hey. who makes this? But then the badass TikToks where it's like they have this Indian song that I, you're going to hear it. This freaking song. I think it's, it sounds like an Indian song or maybe it's like Russian or something. But it's supposed to portray like a badass moment. And sometimes it's like a, a scene in Fast and the Furious, and which is just epic song. And I'm like, why, they, why, like, why did they clip this? I don't understand. But then a lot of times there'll be something about real life that is supposedly badass. And this one is, makes no sense. And it's about Chris Rock telling a joke to Jeff Bezos. And it's just like, what? Jeff Bezos is so rich. He got the boss, and he's still the richest man in the world. <laughs> And it's like, and they just show Jeff Bezos. Yeah, <laughs> they just show Jeff Bezos like smiling, but the caption's like, "Oh, Jeff Bezos, he's such a badass." And it's just this joke. Like, listen to this joke. He got the boss, and he's still the richest man in the world. And it's just Jeff Bezos smiling with this stupid song. But a lot of it will be just like that. It will be like somebody like, it'll be. Like just the most un almost like the most unbadass scenario ever. Like they had one where it was an, it was another award show, and they were like it was such a bit of them telling Jim Carrey to move to the back of the of the line. They're like oh to the back of the room. And he's like you know they're just like oh Jim Carrey like you're not famous enough. And he's like oh you know I got Sonic the Hedgehog came out. They're like oh yeah come to us next next week with that or come to us next year and then you could still then you could sit at the front of the room. But the people that make these are like under this illusion that these things are like the most badass things they've ever seen. Like, yeah. I don't understand. And, and they'll just play the stupid song. They'll just be like, Yeah, you know, man, like, you know, like, I went to the store and opened up a Pepsi and I drank that shit dead in the store. I mean, I paid for it, but like, I just, like, I just drank it right there and that dude ain't say shit. You're fucking badass. Like, or it'll be like, uh, 
just like an interview of somebody saying something like very like pretty meaningless. It's like you know, like yeah, like I, I did Fast and the Furious, and I had diarrhea during the, during the show during the movie, and the, and then the caption is like super duper badass. The Rock talks about having diarrhea during Fast and the Furious. Like this is so absurd, and I wish I had more like evidence of this, and I don't. No, Let me tell you, I see this. I see this all the time. There's a word I got on TikTok. So this is the other thing, and I told this one. This one just made the list yesterday. This one I was just yeah. telling Justin. This pissed mm. me off. I go get some white rice to help yeah. my stomach. Okay. Oh, yeah. I go to the Chinese place. And say, Let me get a large white rice. Okay. How much do you think I paid? Oh, maybe two fifty. The lady said four. Like 25. And I was like, what? Yeah. 425 for a large steamed white rice. I'm like, is she going to bring out the fucking container? Yeah. Am I going to put the container in the back of Pastor's car? I couldn't believe it. You want to talk ridiculous. about inflation. Now you I know we're getting old when I'm, when I'm, con I I'm complaining about inflation. I told you, I, I was talking to my uncle. He paid an arm and a leg for a lunch special. It was ridiculous. 20 bucks for a lunch special, he said. Yeah, it was around there. What's so special about that? I don't know. I mean, the price is special. But what's yeah, so special yeah. about the damn dish? Yeah. So, I mean, you want to, this, whatever's going on, we got to stop this inflation because white yeah. rice is at 450 and Let me tell you, I've been Look. eating this white rice so slow. I've been eating this white rice. You're so so I'm milking this. I'm milking Didn't this you, white rice. Then you buy it? Like three days ago. And you're still eating it? Well, today's like the last day. After today, uh, it's over. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, the inflation's ridiculous. It's getting crazy. We're getting old getting here. Crazy. Yeah. I'll tell you what else is crazy. What pissed me off for like the last two years, and the boys know about this, but my betting track record. I have the worst track record, track record with betting. Whenever I'm making a bet and there's nothing on the line, I win. I go play blackjack yeah. online just for fun. I'll be, you know, I, oh, I win. You know, blackjack, boom, 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 boom. And I'm, I'm seeing my imaginary money go up. You know, I'm seeing mm -hmm. my, my points go up. My, my, I, you know, I'm like, oh, I got like 250 now. I got like 450, you know, 700 bucks. As soon as I start putting money down, fail, bomb, nothing, you know, bust, Totally nothing. I think I talked about this time. This this was this was bad. WrestleMania comes around, and I am like, oh, you know, John Cena is obviously gonna win this year. He wins every year. Yeah. Every year he wins. I go on my bookie, bet fifty dollars on John Cena. The one year he doesn't fucking win is the year I bet. Now you know you're yeah. retarded. I felt like such a moron. Yeah. And you told me not to make that bet. I told you not to, but you listen. Like, this is the John year he's going to lose. You know that, yeah. right? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, John Cena was facing the Fiend in his match. He was losing that. Then came this year during the Christmas special. This one was horrible. So it was Juliana Pena versus, I don't know who, what other fighter it was that, that Dre loves. And she was like, to like undefeated for like, I don't know how long. The, Juliana Pena had the odds were so stacked against her, but for like mm. three, four months, I'm telling Dre, you know, Juliana Pena's gonna win. Like she's gonna win. She's gonna win. I'm telling you, she's talking wild shit. Like she's gonna win, Dre. And Dre, like, you know, he's Mr. UFC, so he knows everything. He knows everything, right? Yeah. Oh, he's breaking down statistics. The way her leg maneuvers when she kicks. <laughs> It's impossible for somebody to counter that kick because her leg is at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> like, he's just telling me all this meaningless shit. And he's like, She's never lost a fight since 2016 in, in Britain. And I'm just like, I don't care. I'm tired. I got a feeling this girl's going to win. So he's like, All right, we'll bet. He's like, If we, if you bet this, I was like, I'll bet like 100 bones. And if I would have bet $100 on that fight, I would have got like 700 back. Like that's how much of a fucking, that's how much of an underdog she was. I think, no, I would have got like a thousand. I would have got like a thousand dollars if I would have bet like a hundred or something like that. Something like that. Day comes, I get cold feet and I'm like, nah, remember what happened with John Cena? Remember what happened with Cena? 
right during the Christmas special, your girl won. I said, there's no, no way. Yeah. There's no way. I lost out on a freaking grand. Yeah. And there's been a few other times where I bet or where, where I was like, I, you know, I bet this is going to happen, but I don't put money down and boom. I lose or I, I win when there's no money. And when I, when there's money, I don't win nothing. It's ridiculous. It's horrible. Now, if I say I'm going to bet on something now, I'm just going to bet money no matter what, because yeah. now I don't want to take the chance. It's like you lose when you don't, you lose your bigger. Yeah. So now every time I, if I say I'm going to bet on something now, I'm going to bet. That's it. Take a loss. Done. That's it. This is a small one, but I see this on, I see this on social media. Okay. Yeah. Because I have like, uh, I like to watch like, you know, little cute dog videos or whatever. Yeah. So obviously yeah. with dog videos comes cat videos and other videos of little animals. They don't really like us. And you know what I see that disgusts me to no end? When people allow their cats to walk on the freaking counters and the tables. No, that's ah! <laughs> You're you cooking, do you're eating, and now you have cats Walking around on the freaking countertops and on the table, Ugh, the cat hair is gonna be in the freaking soup. People are gonna be like, "Oh, cats are clean. They bathe nah, themselves." Nah, nah, uh, nah. The cat hair no. sheds and it gets get, in the freaking tacos. Get them all for the fucking It's disgusting. Cat hair. It's gross. For the table. Stop it. I don't yep. care. I don't even like cats. I had one, not because I wanted one, because my dad wanted one. It died. We never got another one again. Okay. And listen, I'm not even be, I'm not even discriminating against cats. I wouldn't even let my dog be on the counter. Not that dogs do that, but you know, cat. It's more of a cat thing. But yeah. I hate. I also hate when I see people letting their animals eat out of their plate. Yeah, that's disgusting. I see people do it with their dogs. Like they don't take it out of the plate and give it to them. They let them eat it out of their own freaking plate, off and the then plate. They eat, they eat after it. Ugh, ugh. I seen. Next. I seen Danny Trejo do it with his like do his little dog. I thought it was disgusting. I love Danny Trejo, but I thought it was disgusting. Yeah. And I saw somebody do it with like a freaking otter. They had like an, an otter, otter in the house. The yeah, fuck? it had a fucking otter in the house, and it just wow. letting it eat eggs. Stop it! It's nasty. It's disgusting. Gross. Yeah. This one, maybe you and Mo. This one, I'm kind of upset for you and and Mo and you guys. Okay. So obviously, me and Justin on Twitter. Follow a lot of uh, follow a lot of like just model girls or whatever. I don't even follow them actually. I follow like two, and then this is how it happens. I follow like one or two porn stars on Twitter, and mm -hmm. then but my Twitter then gives me all these other porn stars and all these other models that they think I might like. And I don't or know if you've noticed porn this. Stars reach, reach porn yeah, yeah, star. exactly. Yeah. So I don't know if you've noticed this, but do you know the new trend for these girls is to just put Pokemon in the title or the description of their picture when nothing or, or anime it's anime pokemon and netflix like it'll just be a picture of them sitting on the beach in a bikini and then it'll just be like who wants to watch pokemon with me tonight and i'm just like when did you since when do you like pokemon like what what, what does pokemon even have to do with this it'll be like a chick just like you know with like a dildo in her hand and she's just like what Pokemon does this dildo remind you of? Like, none. <laughs> what, what, is it, what is it? Fucking Dildosaur? Like, it doesn't remind me of any. But I've never seen that, but I could see your grievance. I've chicken. seen, t I mean, tons. If I go on right now, there will be a, a, a picture of a girl, and it will just have some, like, look, boom, right here. It's in, this one's in Spanish. It's just like, she's in a freaking la in lingerie. There's a yeah. whole bunch of stuff, and at the end, it just says Pokemon. What does Pokemon have to do with this? I don't know. I never seen that. I don't follow the porn stars like you. I follow like one or two. See, this one says, "How's my anime figure?" Which I'll give her a pass because she has like an anime like body, I guess. Uh -huh. But I'm just like, I mean, I get the hustle. I get it. You want to get in the algorithm, yeah. but I'm like, this is totally like you're just totally placating. You're totally just uh, faking it. Yeah. It's just be, it'll just be anime, Pokemon, and Netflix. It's like a, as long as they hit those beats, that's it. That's all they care about. And I'm just like, but what if I want to Google? What if I just want to look at like the new Pokemon thing? 
what if I want to look at like the new anime thing? Now I got to see like, I love titties and ass and everything, but like, I don't want to see it all the time when I'm trying to look up, like if I'm looking up a horror thing, like the yeah. new Michael Myers movie, I don't want to see models. I want to yeah. see the thoughts about the new movie. Mm-hmm. So that aggravated me. I'm surprised you've never seen that. I've never seen it. Like I said, I don't follow as many models as you. I only follow like two, I think. But it just, it just, my Twitter knows what I want to see. Yeah, your kid is just, full of boom, porn. Boom, 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 boom. It's not full my of porn. Full of wrestling. It's not full of porn, all right? It's full of models. Yeah, okay. It's not full of models and porn. A little porn. Better, uh, geez, TikTok. A little it's bit of porn. porn. A little players. bit. There's no porn on TikTok. Okay. There's a little porn. Now, speaking of IG, yeah. what I don't like about IG is not only that the, the red receipts are, you can't control the red receipts. You have to have them on, right? I don't think you can um, take them off. You can't control them, but you can filter like your inbox. Like what I do is, I, I don't know if you can do it, but I have like my main people and then there's like a separate box yeah but what i'm saying is if you like you can't change your red receipt so it it always shows somebody if you read their thing and like sometimes sometimes i read i don't have it on my apple i i I hate red receipts because i don't want people to know if i read their thing because sometimes i read somebody's thing and i go i'll come back or i'll just look at it and i'll be i'll come back to this when i'm in a different like headspace i want to give them like an yeah. adequate answer or something and just personally i don't want people knowing i read their shit i don't want people don't, in my business i don't give a fuck so not only Am is I the red again? receipts on but then it tells you when the last time somebody was active and i get messages does, oh you were just on instagram and i'm like does, how the hell did you it? know that yes yeah. and i'm like uh, it when you look at somebody's message like if you look at your inbox it'll okay. tell you how long ago they were just on? I never peeped that. Yeah, my mom told me about that. I gotta check that out. She's like, oh, so you were on Instagram today. I was like, how the hell do you know that? Yeah. And she's like, because it tells you. And then, speaking of Apple, now you can, you don't have, uh, you, you don't, you're not obligated to keep red receipts on, but it tells people when you're on Do Not Disturb. Yeah, I got Why to is po- that? I pointed that out to him. He was like, what? I hate that i respect i i I want my privacy in every aspect i don't want people to know and then pastor texts me he's like hey how you doing i see your your do not disturb is on everything all right i'm like first of all i appreciate it but you know i don't want people to know that yeah (sighs) yeah that's fucking stupid ridiculous it's an invasion of privacy it really is yeah i'm not a big fan i've not been a big fan of instagram for a while I am not a big fan. I'll tell you that right now. It's really grinding my gears. You know what else grinds my gears? I'm just going to be quick on this one. This one has been annoying me since the inception, since I've ever heard it. But it came to my mind when I was thinking about things that pissed me off. The pet name, Bay. I hate it. You, you like Bay? I hate Bay. I've been called Bay. And I said, Bay, your fucking sister. Get out of Michael <laughs> Bay. Get out of here. That's don't be, don't be baying me. I hate why the bay. You, why do you hate it? It grinds my gears. It it's like nails on a chalkboard. When I used to live with my sister and and her man, I used to hear her say bay a cr- bay. I used to be like, shut the fuck up. I didn't say that, but I thought it. I just hate it. It's just one of those words. Like a lot of people hate moist. I hate bay. It's something about it. Don't call me it. <laughs> I don't even say it around me. I'm glad. My, I, I'm, I can see mostly. I'm surprised he don't say it. I don't think he no, says it. He, he says a love a lot. He calls her love? He calls people love. Everybody love. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't notice this. You don't hear him on FaceTime? Then he's in public. He says, okay, love. Oh, he's, oh, Thanks, he's, he's love. politicking with people? Like, <laughs> anybody. Thanks, love. Guys? <laughs> Those guys love too? Wow. I don't know. Maybe just girls. Yeah, today he was over there looking for freaking baby oil and uh with the candles and yeah. store. He called he said olive oil. And he said it today too to the cashier. He said love. Oh boy, I don't know what's going on. Thanks, love. Well, he's he's a lovely he's a loving man. 
So back to you is like daddy to Dre. Exactly. Well, not on that le- like, not where like he he would hang up or something like that. Like it's not. It's probably like two degrees less. <sighs> I got you. Not a fan though. I've always hated it, and I never said it on the show. I don't think. Like I'm surprised I didn't yeah. say this for the first. What pisses me off? Yeah. Last but not least. This is a thing that's been pissing me off for a little while that I, I just read it, but I'm pissed off on some people's behalf. Half of it is other people's behalf and half is on me. So the FDA is really trying to crack down on menthol cigarettes. Okay. Which, as I was sp- speaking to, other, to smokers, they were like, oh, like, you know, like, yeah, it's kind of whack, but like, I kind of agree because of how bad menthol is for you. So my opinion you're gonna have cigarettes out. You might as well keep the menthol out. Menthol out. Um, just give people their freedom of choice. Like people yeah. got hard lives. People have hard jobs, and then maybe they want a menthol cigarette. And yeah. the other thing they want to do is ban uh, flavored cigars, which really, because I love those. Yeah. Now the whole thought behind this is the FDA is trying to get the next generation of smokers not to be smokers. They're trying to get. Because they're saying that kids are getting this, which is the whole argument with the vape, you know, with the flavored vape and yeah, everything. Yeah, vape. But my thing is, where does it stop? I could see the vape thing, whatever, but it's like just keep them out of kids' hands because yeah. we have tons of other stuff that aren't supposed to be in kids' hands. Tons yeah. of other things that kids aren't supposed to get their hands on that they get mm-hmm. their hands on. It's like yeah. it's up to society to figure out how to get it out of their hands. So you're saying that we can't have flavored cigars and flavored cigarettes because kids are going to get their hands on it. What about alcohol? Alcohol yeah. has like the most amazing flavors ever. They have right. every flavor you can think of. S'mores, raspberry, this, that, and the other thing. And that's mm-hmm. probably just as accessible, if not as more accessible than cigarettes yeah. and stuff. You could find it in your parents' cabin and they could be like, oh, raspberry schnapps, sure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink this and it can create an alcoholic. Yeah. So now, I mean, I hope they don't do it. But apparently the menthol thing is like a bit like they're really trying to crack down on that in the next couple months. They might do it. And the, the, but the, the cigar thing, that's my territory. I don't like that. I love those. Uh, it's very it's pissing me off very much. Yeah, it's stupid. It's like you let it take shit away. But then you do it to a kid. They're just going to find something. They're going to find something some else. To do it. So you take menthols away. They're going to find something else. And now a grown person like myself cannot enjoy a nice flavored cigar. Yeah. It's like you can't pick and choose like you want people to get addicted to. Exactly. Boom. And, you know, just keep, just keep it out of kids' hands. Yeah. They're not going to take alcohol away again. They're not going to abolish that. Makes yeah. a lot of money. Makes too much money. It's, it's, it's ridiculous to me. Yeah, menthol might be horrible for people, but if you want to make if you want to make the choice yourself, make the choice yourself. Yeah. You know, if you're aware of the risks, if you're aware of all the dangers that it apparently got like fiberglass in or whatever, you know, whatever, fine. But there's tons of things that are horrible for you in this world, like fast food, absolutely horrible for you in yeah. excess, especially. But that's still yeah. around. Don't take that. It's like when they tried to do the. Uh, what was it? What was it in New York when they tried to ban two liters? Like when we were in high school or middle I don't school? Remember that. Yeah, they tried to ban two liters and they took away the super size. It's like, bro, let people do what they got to do. Are we going to take away fast food because people on my 600 pound life can't, you know, yeah. stop shoving it down? Listen, everything you eat, do is bad for you in some sort of way. Almost everything. So- not everything, but. Not everything. Mostly everything. A lot of so things. So there's a lot of people do that kind of We got emissions from cars. They, you know, I mean, they're trying to work on that, but that's never, we're never going to be 100% electric car. That's gonna, that's, I don't think that's going to work. No. Nah. I mean, what do I know? I'm not Elon Musk. But I hope they don't take them away. They're fucking assholes. They're taking away the freedom of choice from the people. It's not that big of a deal. It's not yeah. that big of a deal. There's really worse things not. out there. Okay? So that is my list of things that piss me off. <laughs> Boom. 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 There you go. You know what else I don't like? Boom. I don't like chicken sandwiches like that are breaded with, on bread. Like, I don't like a breaded chicken sandwich. I think it's too much bread. And I was explaining this yesterday, and I'm just going to say it now. I think it's too much bread. I think it'll make you sleepy. And if you're going to outlaw anything, outlaw chicken sandwiches that are fried chicken sandwiches. Outlaw that right now. Outlaw that. 
How about that? It's I making people fat. Right. It's making people fat. It's making people tired. It's making people sluggish. Grilled chicken sandwiches only done. I don't like them. <laughs> you know, you like breaded chicken sandwiches? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me tell you what else we like. Yes. Soda. Yes. And I got myself a little treat. I think I would have got this regardless if we did the six hour special and I was proud. But I went on eBay recently. Now we're going to open some packages. Okay. I'm going to open mine first. Okay. Went on eBay, and I just thought about this. I totally forgot about this item for a long time. It's on the level, almost on the level of my frenemies hoodie, where when I heard about it, I was like, damn, I got to get a hold of this, okay? So a couple of months ago, IHOP re was releasing maple syrup Pepsi, okay? <gasps> yeah, so I thought it was going to be, you can go to IHOP and get it, but yeah. apparently... It was only through a contest. We had to show off your stack of pancakes. So I was like, oh, damn, like, you know, I can't get it. But I'm not going to do no damn pancake thing. Yeah. Then I went on eBay recently, and I saw a bunch of them, a lot of them for extraordinary prices. But I got my hands on one <laughs> for 60 bucks. <laughs> what? 60 bones. 60 are bones you, for a maple you? syrup Pepsi, brother. What do you think of that? Look at the IHOP thing. I mean, these were going for like a hundred and something. Bruh. Blase, blase. Going I'm for taking a lot. Away the card right that now. was personal. That was a personal card. Bruh, Can't take mine away. Ridiculous. Listen, you only live once and it's maple syrup freaking Pepsi. I don't get 60 bucks. Mmm, yes. Let's open it right now, and I'm gonna try it because I've been dying. Let's try this. I can't mm. believe it. This is my biggest, stupidest purchase. Hey, shut you up! Wait till you see what you got. Oh. Wait till you see what I bought your ass, pal. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. Smells good. It doesn't smell as much of a maple syrupy smell as I thought. Mmm. Mm. Which, I'm not wanting this to be overpoweringly maple syrup. I don't want an yeah, overpowering yeah. of maple. So, yeah. let's give it a shot. Let's see how this tastes, baby. For the people listening at home, I got something too I have to try. He bought me, and there's a whole drum of the cat. So, can't wait to open it. See mm. what it is. What do you think? See... I was gonna, I was gonna say, somebody was telling me that, Cemetery Girl was telling me that it probably is gonna taste like butterscotch. Okay. It does not taste like butterscotch. What does it taste it's like? definitely a Pepsi with, like it has that distinct Pepsi taste is what I'm saying. It's not yeah. like a totally different flavor. Mm. And it does have the note of maple syrup. But do I enjoy it? Ooh. See, there's a little bit of an aftertaste yeah. that I'm not really feeling entirely. Like, the initial sip is, is good, yeah. but there's a little bit of an aftertaste. I'm not a big fan of that. See, if you guys missed a six-hour special, I showed off a mango Pepsi. I tried that, and you taste the Pepsi, then you first drink it, and then the mango aftertaste is just bad. Like you, you, you get a, you get a, you get the Pepsi and the maple syrup right off the yeah. bat, but then there's that little aftertaste. The aftertaste is what gets you. Mm. No good. I'm not saying yeah, this is no you good don't like though. It. No, I'm not saying I don't you like don't. it, because I'm still drinking it. For it's like I like bucks, it. You it's like I it. like. It. <laughs> what are you, my mother? <laughs> it's like I like it enough to keep drinking it. But let's say this was widely available, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd buy this again. Which this is the same thing I said about the uh, the Pepsi Starlight, the, the Coca Cola Starlight, and then I yeah. ended up liking it more as time went on. It kind of grew on me. I don't yeah, think this I is gonna grow on me as more much. And more, more and more as I drank it. Oh, you did? Drank it. Yeah. I don't think it's kind of a. It's just kind of a weird taste. I not that. I mean, I guess I I did think maple syrup Pepsi would be good. Mm. I thought it would be better than what it is right now. 
Do you taste like overly like mm -mm. sweet? Like it's not overly sweet, which is good. Yeah. Oh, see that it's just got like a little another aft taste. I'm giving this two and a half. A three. Okay. I'm giving this a three. Okay. Yeah. It's not horrible. It's not amazing. It has its moments. I, that's that. That's kind of the the general thought with this is like it has its moments. Some sips are really good, and then like some sips have that aftertaste. Right now, the aftertaste is lingering. I would not buy this again. Maybe I'm gonna go two and a half. Yeah, uh, I'd say two and a half. So you'll finish it, you'll buy it. Uh, and I might not even finish it now. I might not you even gotta finish, finish it. it. Yeah, what, you gotta again, finish hello. It. What, what is this? What are you gonna give it to Ma? Us? I ain't giving him shit. I ain't give. He gave me COVID. I ain't giving him nothing. That is true. So I'm saying a two and a half. Okay. I would be very tight if I paid like a hundred bucks for this. I wasn't paying that. You crazy? Oh, no, sixty is still a steep price. Listen, you only live once. Uh, I'm very happy with my purchase. I will. I would not change it for the world. I really wanted the maple syrup Pepsi, and I got it. Boom. Mm -hmm. Treat yourself. Glad you're happy with that. Uh, so now, listen to this. Okay. Can they get us? I'm scrolling the internet. I'm browsing online. And I see something. I said, if I'm going down, pause. Justin's going down with me. Oh, no. Even though he's not paying for it. I'm paying for it. He's going to be in the same boat as me. I was going to buy you this, but I'm like, $60, you don't care about it that much. <laughs> but I found something that I think you might care about very much. Mm. Now, here's the problem. Justin is claiming, because I told him, all right, when, once you get this package, take it out because it's supposed to be a soda. It's supposed to be a soda. I don't want to say what it is right now. You didn't say a soda. You just said a can. Well, I'm saying now it's supposed to be a soda. Okay. It's a soda. Okay. okay? Right. So I told you, close your eyes, take it, out of the take it out of the box, put it in a bag that you can't see yeah. through, and put that in the fridge. Yeah. Now, you claim that you took the item out of the box, and it is yes. a bag. Yes. When it's I, supposed to I be. Clicked, I clicked the box open, put my do rag over my eyes, took it out, I felt it, it was a bag. I Which put it in the it's bag. supposed to be a can. So no, this is no, troubling. No, 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 so why don't you unwrap that and let's see if we got gypped. So why I got don't a we bag. see? I really hope there's a can there because let me tell you. I really wanted you to have it. Oh, you're it. right. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a can in a bag, right? That's what I told them before the show. I said, it's probably, they probably just wrapped the can up really good. Boom! It's a, is this Fago? It ain't no Fago, Poppy. Check that out. Read it to the crowd when you see it, brother. Oh, Open that up. This is, this, this had your name written all over it. This had you, I couldn't resist. I had to buy it. And I wanted you to try I it right now. Pay 60 for it. Well, when you see what it is, we could talk prices. Oh, when you see what it oh. is, we could talk. Oh. You see in that brand? Yeah. What brand is that? Dr. Pepper. Fantastic chocolate. Ah, you got a chocolate Dr. Pepper. You ever seen that? No. As I was going online, I found this article about these black dudes who have their own exotic soda thing. Why'd you laugh at black dudes? I mean, I had to call if you just Uh-huh. Anyway, so... That's what you get. Well, I see this article about the, like this black-owned soda shop. They make their own sodas there. Uh, I think it's called Exotic Pops. Yeah, it's called Exotic Pop. And they have their own soda. As well as stuff like maple Pepsi, whatever. They didn't have that specifically, but they had a bunch of crazy flavors that you could buy. So I'm perusing and I see the chocolate Dr. Pep and I go, bing, buy it. Guess how much it was? Uh, Ten bucks. We're talking higher than that. Twenty? We're talking higher than that. No. Twenty-five? We're talking higher than that. Thirty? Uh, at thirty. Oh, I can fuck. 60 bones, brother! That's for you! You deserve it! You deserve it! Thank you! 
You deserve it. Open that up, pal. Hopefully you just don't break on me like a cook. Oh, this guy's freaking can broke on the six hour hey, special. Twenty five on cook bike and your can broke. Let me tell you, spent a lot of money on soda this month. Ridiculous. <laughs> Tasting it. You know what it tastes like? What does it taste like? Tell us. It tastes like a cookie roll in soda. In, in soda. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's really good. Wow. Yeah. I'm fucking glad. Yes. Yes. You, ta you taste the chocolate first and then you talk ah, about the after. Unlike many things where you taste the soda first, the original soda flavor. Wow. I'm so glad you like it. Yes. This is really good. Out of five. I think I'll give you a four point five. Okay. All right. Yeah, four point five out of five. That's really good. Now, uh, what do you think? You gonna spend sixty bucks for another one? Oh uh, no. I wonder where they are. I'm sure there's like they're somewhere, like another country or something that they got them from. Yeah. Like I wonder where they're widely available. So you saw this on Google? I saw an article he... about the website. And yeah. then I went on the website just to see, and I'm like, don't go on here. You're gonna, you know, you like soda, you're gonna find something. And that's what I found. Okay. I looked up Dr. Pepper's. They had a cream soda one too, a, a float, uh, a I vanilla don't, float, I don't or like so, cream. a vanilla float or something like that. No. So 4.5 out of 5, huh? Yeah, that, that's really good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh, you deserve thank it. you for buying it. That's amazing. I'm glad. And there you go. There that's you go. pretty much all we got to talk about tonight. Yes. You liked your sodas. I wasn't a big fan. We got through the six-hour special, even though I was on my damn deathbed. Yeah. And if you heard it, the six-hour special already, make sure you drop a comment in the YouTube uh, in the YouTube comment section right now. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you go check. I mean, Justin, what do you want? What 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 do you in, want? In in life. In life. What, do you, what would you like? Life? I'd like you to check out the six hour special. Okay, that's that too. But I, what I was gonna say is, whatever you want, we got it in the special. You want yeah. an argument? We got that. Yeah. You want a taste yeah, test? True. We got that. You want taste a scary test. story? We Dramas, got that. Superhero? We got superheroes, guys in freaking tights. Yeah. We got. I mean, we had like at least four arguments on the show. Four we or got five. Ghost, ghost peppers. Yeah, the hottest pepper in the world. The third or fourth hottest pepper in the world. Hypothetical hell. Hypothetical hell. We got fun. We got games. We got surprises. We yeah. got magic. What do you want? We got it. Yeah. We got sicknesses. People were sick. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. So if you heard it, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't heard it, what the hell are you doing with your life? Listen to it at work. Listen to it on the way to... Uh, well, if you're going to bed, you might not be able to sleep. If you yeah. listen to that. All right? So you make sure you check it out. And that you could find on the, uh, you can go on the uh, Spotify play, on the Spotify feed, the Apple feed, or you can go to the Gritty Knows Best YouTube channel right now where we have that as well as all of our other episodes that we've been uploading the video wise. And this one will be up. Uh, we're back to our regularly scheduled program on Friday. Make sure you go to the Gritty Knows Best Instagram, go to the Gritty Knows Best TikTok, the GKB. Clips channel on YouTube. Justin, take it away. Find me on YouTube at Justin Some Biggest, Instagram at Real Jason Biggest 93. And from there, you can check out my link tree with all my other links. All his other links. Beautiful. Yep. You gonna sip that chocolate soda I like, tonight? I like how you told me to shorten mine and yours gets longer. Pause. Pa first of all, not true. I did. Three plugs? All for the show, by the way. I didn't even do any of mine. I did the freaking show Instagram, the show YouTube, the Clips the channel, and the, the TikTok. TikTok. So like four? Clips. That's four things. You had like five. I need five. This guy's trying to be bigger than me. I don't I'm not like trying to be it. I'm trying to shorten it because we the whole show will be an hour and a half with like your fucking it. plugs. Your plugs are like half it. an hour. I'm the big they know your they know your plugs. They know where to find you. They know where to get you. It's all right. Listen, <laughs> we love you. Peace and love. See you next time. Don't spend too much money on soda. <laughs>